guys, welcome back to Wayne's Cave and welcome to the observatory. Join me under the nice clear sky tonight to do some more imaging and more testing with this wonderful sharp star F5 astrograph. This is a reflector with a corrective element in the focus draw tube for purely based for astrophotography purposes giving us a decent wide aperture fast and fast uh, focal length might just do a quick star test just to see if we're still in if we're in that's great uh, i'll try and do some screenshot footage on from the laptop on on what we're how we're running this and then uh let's see what we can capture tonight this carbon based tube it's corrected optics and this nice wide aperture is just the perfect beast for what we love to do in astrophotography. We have the uh, QHY268C one shot color, uh, IMX571 uh, 16 bit sensor camera. And um, that's just paired. I've got a, a focus cube, Mark one or two, I believe. Um, and riding it, we have our melee computer with Nina in, which we will um, we will link up with via Wi-Fi inside. And I, I actually have been using a Wanderer Astro um, power box and USB hub. Uh, I'll go through this at some point, just a small little video on that because I, I'm, I'm super impressed and super pleased with it. Don't know if you can hear, but the fans at the back of the telescope are drawing air through nicely, keeping those mirrors nice and clear. I have put a, a dew band on the secondary mirror that that can tend to catch the the front uh, the moisture in the front of the telescope there a bit easier, especially at the minute I haven't got a nice long dew shield. Um, finding it difficult to, to to acquire one that that is a good fit at the front there uh that this is all still work in progress and we've we've got it mounted on our wonderful mesu mount here um run by side reel technology servo controller that this is uh obviously observatory grade type mount and we're, we're just currently using a bit of a cheat sheet and just logging in to our mount via an ascom driver in nina and using plate solve obviously we've done a um, I, I did a simple uh, polar alignment routine in Nina and took a little bit of time doing that. I'd say I'm fairly close to the pole, but there's more work to be done there. But it's certainly good enough for reasonably long exposures right now. Uh, so I'm just dead excited to fine tune our collimation, fine tune our resolution of this amazing mount and, um, and bring with you guys the results along the journey now this whole thing from the observatory base this rig this was a design in my head well over 18 months nearly a couple of years ago and it, now it's sort of bearing fruit so don't forget this video if there's a takeaway is one foot in front of the other at a good steady pace gets you to the finish line probably with more satisfaction with that slow thought out plan and and hopefully the goals along the way that have reached are so so enjoyable so join me and let's go on the journey together and let's see what we can achieve in our new observatory under the stars and uh oh it's it's looking beautiful i know you can't see with this lighter situation but uh it feels like it's me and the universe amazing okay guys let's begin